Have you ever been completely sure you remembered something only for someone to say, that never happened? In psychology, we call this a false memory, and they happen to everyone, even famous psychologists like Jean Piaget. Piaget once vividly remembered being kidnapped as a toddler until his former nanny confessed she had made the whole thing up. It turns out our memories aren't perfect recordings. Sometimes we remember things that never actually happened. A false memory is when you recall something that's inaccurate or completely made up. It might feel real, but it's not reliable. That's because memory isn't like a video camera. It's more like a story we rewrite every time we tell it. Psychologist Elizabeth Loftus discovered just how easy it is to shape someone's memory, especially with misleading information. In one famous study, people watched a video of a car accident. Then they were asked how fast were the cars going when they smashed into each other. Others were asked the same question, but with the word hit instead. And guess what happened? Those who heard the word smashed gave higher speed estimates and were more likely to remember seeing broken glass. But there wasn't any. This is now called the misinformation effect, when new misleading information distorts your original memory. False memories can have serious consequences. For example, on social media, rumors and headlines can change how we remember real events. In therapy, suggesting certain memories can accidentally create them. And in courtrooms, eyewitnesses might confidently describe events that never actually happened. In fact, approximately 69% of DNA exoneration cases in the United States have involved eyewitness misidentification, making it the leading factor in wrongful convictions uncovered by DNA evidence. Even though a memory feels vivid or emotional, that doesn't mean it's accurate. So what should you remember about memory? Well, memory is reconstructive, not a perfect copy. The misinformation effect shows how easily new information can reshape what we think we saw. And confidence in memory doesn't mean it's true. So next time you swear something happened, just remember, your brain might be filling in the blanks.